Good morning, everyone, uh, and a very warm welcome to my friend, the Cabinet Secretary Matua. We've also continued to engage directly with General Burhan and General Hamedi to press them to extend and expand the Eid ceasefire to a sustainable cessation of hostilities that prevents further violence and upholds humanitarian obligations. The Sudanese people are not giving up on their aspirations for a secure, free, and democratic future. Neither will we. Perhaps we can talk about uh, agriculture specifically, which is a very big deal to the Kenyans, obviously. A decision to suspend operations at the embassy, remove our personnel from their assigned posts, is among the most difficult that any secretary has to make. But my first priority is the safety of our people, and I determined that the deteriorating security conditions in Khartoum posed an unacceptable risk to keeping our team there at this time. Uh, I want to be clear that even as we have temporarily suspended operations on the ground in Khartoum, our diplomatic and consular work in Sudan continues. Indeed, in just the last 36 hours since the embassy evacuation operation was completed, we've continued to be in close communication with U.S. citizens and individuals affiliated with the U.S. government to provide assistance and facilitate available departure routes for those seeking to move to safety via land, air, and sea. We don't have a um, a good fix on the number of Americans who are, who are there at any given time, including, including now. Um, we do know, of course, uh, the number of Americans who have registered with us and with whom we're in very active uh, uh, touch, communication. Um, and of those, I would say some dozens have expressed uh, an interest uh, in leaving. And as I mentioned just a few moments ago, even uh, with the withdrawal of our embassy personnel from Sudan, our efforts to provide services to American citizens who are there, um, consular services, uh, other services, advice continues. Good morning. Thank you, guys. Um, I'm going to start with um, Secretary Muta, please. Now, keep in mind as well that the overwhelming uh, majority of um, American citizens in Sudan are dual nationals who have made their lives there, been living there uh, for years, for decades, uh, for generations, and many want to continue to do that. But for those who um, are seeking to leave, we'll continue to engage directly with them uh, to see what we can do to, uh, to help them, and as I said, with allies and partners as well uh, to um, uh, help facilitate their, um, uh, their departure. Um, in terms of how exactly Kenya has seen the Wagner Group's involvement in the ongoing conflict in Sudan. We do have uh, deep concern about the engagement of um, the um, uh, Prigozhin uh, Group, the Wagner Group, uh, in, uh, in Sudan. It's uh, in so many different countries in, uh, in Africa uh, an element that, when it's engaged, simply brings more death and destruction with it. Um, and uh, it's very important that uh, uh, we not see its uh, further engagement in, um, in Sudan. And I know a number of countries are very concerned with that, uh, with that prospect. 